So the first time, I had to really, like, do something. That was a question somebody asked me. So the first time, I had to really do something on the line. The the older homie said that he was going he was gonna basically give me some uh some pruno. All I had to do was save up my sugars. So I saved up my sugars faithfully. I'm running around asking people, buying them. I want sugars. Sugars come in the lunches that they was giving us, the state lunches. So if you get the sugar, you save it up, you get enough. If you wanna get like two, three hundred packs, then you can make you a batch of wine. So, so I'll save it for a week. So when it comes time for him to give me my issue, he talking about I had to pay the debt I owed the cribs. So I'm like, man, but what about me? Man, I went in business with you. And you just go disregard me like little homie get up out of here? I was like, all right. But I took it on the chin because he the older homie from the hood. I took it on the chin. So I'm like, man, but fuck it, I want to drink still. You know, I'm still, I'm still biting into this illusion of this prison, magic prison pruno. <laughs> man, so I do it again. Because I'm like, he ain't going to do it twice. He ain't going to play me. Man, when it came time for him to come down, I went to him. He did the same thing. He said, man, I owed them dudes, man. I owed them. I ain't got none. I'm like, hell no. Nah. So I go back to the cell steaming. Steaming. I told my celly, man, this motherfucker didn't play me twice. He was like, what you want to do? I said, I want to rob him. And it's a lesson in this story, too, so go with me. So I said, I want to rob him. So he was like, what you going to do? I said, well, when we go to the chat hall tonight at dinner, we going to push in front of every, in front of all the other owners, and then I'm going to just tell the tower, I'm going to stand in front of his cell with my back to the tower and stick my hand up, and then he'll open the door. Sure enough, it went his plan, too. So... I go, I shoot back in the building, bam. I stick my hand up, tower open the door. Man, so when the tower open the door, shit, I push up in the steel. I'm in there, now I see super threes, I stack the clippers, I think I snatched that, no, I snatched the radio, the clippers, and the high pot, some other shit. Remember, I feel just in my actions, because this motherfucker didn't play me, not once, but twice. So, next thing you know, as I'm pushing back to the cell with the shit in the pillowcase, the older homies, uh, D. Hunt, touting the ward out, they walk in the building, they like, blood, what is you doing? Is you playing? I said, I ain't playing. I ain't playing. Then I go to the cell, close the door. <clears throat> All of a sudden, my celly come back. When he get back, he see that it's shit up in the cell. He open the door. He like, bro, they can't be up in here, though, because they going to come right here if he suspect us. So we take it to the homie DPH. Now, DPH, we just nicknamed him that. That ain't his name. We just nicknamed him that because he had he had something definitely wrong because he was in the first cell. And in the first cell, he had, man, he used to keep food on the thing. This nigga had about 50, it's, well, I'm exaggerating, about 100 flies in his cell inside of a, of a 270 building. I don't even know how that happened, but he had issues. I mean, one time they tried to, look, they moved a, they moved a dude in the cell with him at like 2.30 in the morning, right? That's when everybody sleep. And he had been not having a celly up until this time. So next thing you know, when they opened the door for breakfast, he was walking up the stairs with the sheet to tie the tie and it's and why everybody because when you go to breakfast you got to like stand outside the door and then wait for everybody to get you know situated then close all the doors then you start walking man while everybody was standing still he just walked up the stairs with the sheet started tying the sheet on the on the top rail of the stairs then got to tying it around his neck and he was like hey 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 Man, they ran up there, tackled him and shit. And he was like, man, I just told y'all I didn't want no celly. So, and the DPAs didn't have no celly no more. So, anyways, back to the story. So, I get this high stuff. And I tell, I give the DPAs, like, man, hold this real quick. <laughs> hold this. He hold it. I mean, shit, he cool. And we feed him when he hungry. So, man, all of a sudden, the, the nigga come back. The nigga Marco come back. He go in the cell. <laughs> he say, hey! 
where my motherfucking shit? He start going crazy. I'm talking about I'm inside my cell looking out the window like, oh, shit. He's like, where my motherfucking shit? Man, next to you know, the Mexicans start going to the blacks, the white boys. Everybody start having a little powwow meetings and shit, right? <laughs> I'm seeing this shit get real. So then they go to the blacks. They go to the homies. Now, the older homies see me walk by because I had that shit tucked like an old football or something going in my cell. So they come to the cell. They like, look, blood, y'all niggas going to have to get that shit up. Because these Mexicans talking about they got they got dives and wine and, and, and other type of shit up in here, man. And they talking about searching the whole motherfucking building. Blood, you going to have to get that shit up. <laughs> so I was like, well, look, it ain't in this cell. I'll give it to them in the morning. Man, I don't know how, but that nigga seen the homie talking to me, and that nigga Marco came to the cell. My motherfucking shit up in here. Open this door. I'm like, oh, now, oh, he didn't put me out there. Now he didn't hold on me. So now I'm still feeling justified in my actions. So when he do that, we I have to I have to get a DPH cell open and shit to go so he can set the shit out. So man, next to you know. I tell my cell, I'm about to get this nigga. Fuck that. This is my first time doing so. So we go to the chow hall in the morning for breakfast. This nigga Mark, Mark on him, pushed up on the homie with a little pea shooter. <laughs> Got the homie all spooked and shit. So they was like, look, 